Pencils down, baby. What? Pencils okay. oh, motherfucking down. I was, I we're, wasn't paying attention. We're ready, Ray. We're done? We're, we're ready. Oh, we're, we're done. Is that, that it? Was it? Okay. Well, that was 234 fun. in the book. Wow. Good one. Already done. My, you know what? Looking back, this is probably my favorite Probably? One. You yeah. think? You think I think it was, so. It was a damn good one. It was. It, God, it was. It's like one of those sleeps where you, you lay your head on the pillow, you close your eyes, and you wake up. Yes. And you're like, yes. I am so rested. That was the best night's sleep ever. I, there you go. That's See? what this ramble was. See? Wow. Fucking brilliant okay hi everybody oh welcome i would be a comedian jerry rocha right there we have eddie pence and then live and direct from san antonio texas parts unknown oh, parts, un- oh, parts, parts unknown parts unknown oh. we have cody Viafani. there it is cody. there we go hey andrea High just walked in did not without our permission wow walked in anyway okay. just okay. doing what she yeah. wants wow Cocktail hour, she Who's says. The While Ramble men are working, place. I right. guess. Right. Wow. Okay. While men are working. Wow. Not rough. Men. Like this isn't. No, this isn't. We're not babies. We're not doing tiddly winks. No, this is this ain't no bullshit here. These are grown men who are doing working. Manly things. Yeah. Thank you, God. <sighs> well, how you been, man? Good. Cody, how you been? Not too bad, all things considered. Yeah, it ain't that bad. Things are okay. Um. Here we are. How's the? Uh, I heard you. Uh, I heard your um, your anus fell out. Yes. Is that? Is it better now? No. Oh. No, it's still out. <laughs> it's still. You out. didn't like push it back up in? No. No. Just, no. I just, tried. Just let it hang uh, out. I tr- Andrea tried. I think she sabotaged it. Um, I think it was. I think it was a blatant sab- sabotage oh, on her part because. Bad. Okay. You know, whatever. She, she leaves the door you- wide open for Scotty. Oh, you know, yeah, I think she's just making her move. It's whatever. It's whatever. fine. It, it's I've I've resigned myself to this. No, fine. She's making what? a drink. She got yeah, she is. And right yeah. Now. And guess what? She doesn't drink that. Smearing off. Yeah. For guess Schmerelson. who doesn't? Guess who does? Yes. Schmerelson it's for Scott. Schmier- He's coming over. She oh, makes does, that for he him. Does like a nice I, whatever. I don't know. Smeared off on ice. Smeared off. Schmerelson. Smeared off. Schmierneeson. She calls it a Schmeren off. <laughs> 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 oh, what sucks is I guess she had no problem walking away. I thought her and Cody were a thing for a minute. Oh, that's right. They did date for yeah, a minute. Yeah, and then now he's back to Scott. Oh, uh, well, she can't quit Scott. Yeah, she damn. can't quit it's, I mean, there's. St- I, I had no chance, really. Yeah. No it? one does. Well, there's two pissed off Schmerelson dudes. Schmerelson has her heart yeah, forever. There's two pissed off dudes here on this podcast. And <laughs> while she's just pouring away, just, making, just pouring away, doesn't give a, a fuck. For- doesn't give oh, not even an I'm sorry. Scott Schmerl. Nothing. Not doesn't give a fuck. Should we no. should we try to reach out to Scott Schmerlson's office, see if we can get an interview? Oh. I I like this. I think we should. I don't see why we shouldn't. I mean I don't know if he won or not. There is contra like I Googled his name. Either for way, real. We, it's something to talk about. It's true. Look, I'm not making this up. I Googled his name. Yeah. And there was like something about anti Semitism. So oh. I, I oh. mean no question. Everything makes sense now. <laughs> so I don't know if that guy won his reelection bid <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, honey. God. I just oh. whatever. It I thought I'd be sad. See, I, 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 there's no mandolin anywhere. I can go play it, but I'm but not. This next you're song, still I'm not, not ready. It's a tough one. It's been like three weeks. I know. This is. A th- I want to get it right. I can go fuck around no, and just don't play it. it. No, I don't want you doing that. Like I won't play the song. I don't want you. Doing I'll just noodle on the mandolin. No, no. I mean, if that, if that's, no. if you're Jonesing. Oh, uh, Nathan emailed me his his address, so I'm shipping his stuff out. Bam. But I need the other people that want you need, uh, to email me there. Manny Avalar? Stuff. Yes. You need a few others. Who else want? I think I'll look and see. I'll double and check. Ray, and Ray, please if... let us know if you got your pillow. Ray, did you get the pillow? Because I did get the shipping confirmation from t And that's been like years ago. That was, yeah. This Ages ago. Pre-COVID. Probably. Pre-COVID. <laughs> there we are. Man. Um, God, what a ramble I think we've got in store today. I'm ready. I'm excited. I don't know Is about it? you. Is it a full ramble? It's a full one. Okay. It's a... When are we going to go to Donut Man? Fuck. We need do to we do home. this later tonight? Maybe. Like, we have dinner. You go have dinner. Maybe. You come back. Maybe. We drive to Donut Man. Is it open 24 hours? Yes. Even during these times of Even COVID. during these times. What do you say? Because I don't know if you know there's not COVID. 
yeah. translated in Hebrew oh. equals Kobe. I thought it was donut. donut. So that's where we were going to go. Kobe Bryant. Uh, There's a whole thing there. New conspiracy Kobe theory. Kobe Bryant. Wow. The, yes, so. Not the Obama is the granddaughter of Ava Braun. No, that was last <laughs> that week. That was last week. It's fucking just keep, I just want to keep all the ramblers abreast, abreast of the crazy theory. shit that, yes. That so we, we know what to. to believe each from what we, we have to. We, they have to know. Uh, big shout out to Toy Ted. Huge shout out to Toy Huge Ted. Huge shout out to Toy Ted for hooking, Toy Ted. hooking us up with some extreme goodies. Yes. Uh, big hookup. Big non shout out to Walgreens again. I'm going to keep that Walgreens going. Walgreens can go fuck themselves. I can't believe hard, this. Hard. You know, it's funny, hard. but like. I love my my sister, my long lost sister. Are there, is Walgreens the Scotch Merrillson of people? They, it of, is of, of drugstores. Yes, I don't want to have to break my sister's balls and be like, "Hey, when you're out, could you go to Walgreens?" And, you know what I mean? I know, because you can't go to Walgreens in the L.A. area because no. it's just fucking wasps, wasps, wasp and ant man, and anything good. Because has all been the scalped. fucking scalpers take just all pay the those shit. guys to fucking. God damn Ugh. it. That's and that's why we really should get the job at Walgreens to crush. It's not about the crushing the puss. That just comes secondary. Yeah, it's to get well, the look, <laughs> exclusive. If you equate it to Batman, yeah. If we got a job at Walgreens, yeah, it's to fight crime. Yes, that's what it is. We're fighting. Yes, the, and then the side effects: boinking Catwoman and, and poison and, and, ivy, and, li- and li- living the Playboy lifestyle right. as their alter ego. That just comes with the territory. Comes with what you. We need have to, do. to crush puss have at to. Little Caesars in order to sell. Have to. The, uh, or Benihana. Or Benihana. Either one. We're going to float. I think we'll probably float. We'll probably float. We'll but probably we float. have to do that to yeah. sell the lifestyle. Yeah. So undercover, we yeah. can we can stop crime at Walgreens. Right. We Fuck. can stop scalpers at Walgreens. Do you know the, the weight that's on our shoulders if we do this? Yeah, but it's it's a job that somebody's got to do. Right. And it should uh, be we're, the no- we're noble enough, I would assume. Why not us? Cody, do you want you want in on this? You'd move out here for that, right? You yeah, work at Walgreens. Right one bedroom. One bedroom apartment. The three of us share. You work at Walgreens. Look, if we if we figure out the work schedule, we only need the two <laughs> twin bed air mattresses because someone's always working at Walgreens. Twenty four hours. Walgreens. Some it has to be a twenty four. Someone's hour always working, so there's right. no there's never more than two people in the apartment. At That's oh, really. that'll save us. That'll save us like dozens of dollars. What do you mean? Don't bring Cody to. You mean raise? You mean raise Cody up? Don't raise <laughs> Cody up. You mean give Cody a goal in life? Yeah, you mean give Cody something real to achieve? Why is Andrea giving a shit? Like, why does Cody she give down? a fuck? God damn, Cody Just would. Go, go, why don't you? Uh, what do you? Why don't you go have Sparrows and jizz down your throat again? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> yeah, it's not a step down for you, Cody, to move to. Cody, is that a us? step down? To move to Simi Valley, work at Walgreens with us. We'll all split a one bedroom. Right. Imagine no. how much money we'd save. Yeah, I mean, it, I can just throw my college degrees aside. Yeah, and I don't use mine. Get pussy at, at fucking <laughs> Little Caesars and what's the other one? Benihana. Benihana. Yeah. Come on. Crush it, man. Dude, crush can it. Can I at least? Us. Can I at least work at Benihana to feel a little bit higher class? <laughs> I mean, you can. Damn. I mean, it's Wait less a of a it's less of a big step. Well, we in... we work at Walgreens, but we go to Benihana. Wait a minute! No, this is perfect. Cody well, is now our guy inside at Benihana. Oh, any new hostess, right? Any new he right? <laughs> Come on! He I think I can manage call. a Benihana. Yeah, then... Cody manages he the gives Benihana. Us the call, we right. know when to go down. He does that creepy restaurant move. Where like when he's training a new chick employee, he like just stands way too close behind her when right. he's showing her the computer right. and stuff, right? Telling her to use her hips Boom. more when she's right, and, and bam, and then that at that point they're they're in, they're in, they're, they're in. We get the call. We we're, we're down there in five minutes. <laughs> right, it's over. <laughs> we just, <laughs> I don't see why he doesn't. Whatever. Not Whatever. Bringing, not bringing you down. We're, we're bringing, not bringing you down. We're lifting not being brought down. We're lifting you honey. up. Wow. Up. Ah! Mm. She can't God, talk. she can't talk. Schmerelson's here. I, right, of course she can't talk. She her mouth full <laughs> already. <laughs> she was ready to fight with that uh, one. Uh, that that was ready. Nine minutes and eighteen what seconds. What the fuck? Here we go. Should we play the music? I think we should. Why not? Let's do it. I mean, we got our intro out of the way, didn't we? Did we? Everyone feels properly introed. I would assume they know who we are. Yeah, now. if you know the words. Boys sing along, huh? We're going to go deep with this one. We're going way back with this one. All right, you ready for this? Uh-huh. Hope they never end this song. This could take us all night long. 
I looked at the moon and I fell blue. Then I looked again and I saw you. Eyes like fire in the night. Bridges burning with their light. Now I want to spend the whole night through. And honey, yes, I'd like to spend it all on you. Come on, everybody. Love, look what you've done to me. I never thought I'd fall again so easily. Oh, love, you wouldn't lie to me. Leading me to feel this way. Come on, you know that one, right? Mm-hmm. I don't got that one. Cody, you know that one, right? That one. What is that one? I don't know. Stop it! Uh, Come on, urban motherfucking cowboy! I don't got that Boss one. Boss Skaggs! I don't got Love, that one. I don't look got that what one. you've done to I, me. Not, I'm not familiar with Boss Skaggs. Uh, Lido! You know that one. But, you know that one. You know Love, look what you've done to me. Ah. Come on, you know that. I don't have Cody, that nothing? I don't got it. No. I don't got Get it. Get the fuck out of What I don't the got fuck? It. I don't got that one. Bum, 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 bum. Boss Skaggs. Bum, I bum, got, bum, I'm bum, not bum, familiar bum, with the Boss Skaggs, Skaggs catalog. Started off in Steve Miller's band. <sighs> Started, and then boom. Honey! Come here real quick, please. I'm trying to make amends. Tell Scott you'll be right back. No, don't. Look, no, no, Scott. We won't make fun of Scott. We promise. <laughs> you know this song, right? Love, look what you've done to me. No, not really. I never, you've heard it. Uh, yeah, I never thought I'd fall again so easily. Oh, love, you wouldn't lie to me. You know that fucking song, leading me to feel. I don't know that song. Stop it. Maybe if I heard the actual song. That you just did. You just did. Did I? You just did. Did I? You just did. Did I? Cody, are you Googling it right now at least to give yourself some perspective? Mm. Mm, no. Boss Skaggs! Oh, yeah. Beetle. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Man. Wow. Mm-mm. No. What do you, that's a great song. No. The Ramblers know. They'll know. They'll know. Watch. From Urban Cowboy? That's a great fucking soundtrack. Man, come on. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Jesus Christ. Did you see Urban Cowboy? Yeah. I'm trying to remember the song. Love, I think if I heard the actual me. song, I'd know the but song. I don't, I don't want to get a sued. Who's going to sue us? You know they're going to listen. I'm not, I can't play it. Right, I'll listen we'll get to that. it after the show. No, I, you have to hear it now. Oh, God. <laughs> but here, just put it up to your ear. All right. <laughs> here, you can't put All Mike right. off. Oh, Mike's, I'm Mike, putting Mike away. Mike down. Hold on. I'm you, putting the mic away. You play it. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey oh, oh. So- oh. Come on. You know that fucking song. It's playing right now. It's playing in Eddie's ear. He's going to lower it. He, Come on. He knows this. When, here we come on. It. Come on. No, I don't know that song. Nothing. No, not, not, I got nothing from that song. Cody, did you Google it? I can hear it. Oh, shit. We're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> did that ring a bell? No. Cody? No. God damn it. Whatever. I, th- I thought for sure Nothing. this would be the one they'd remember nope. us by. You know what I mean? Nothing, man. I thought this would be the Nothing. ramble that puts us over the top. We get 18,000 downloads a second because oh, of imagine? the boss gags. Could you imagine? Love. You wouldn't lie to me. No, nothing. Fucking tremendous. So, we're not, so you're telling we're not moving to Spotify? No, we're not yet. We're not, <laughs> we're not getting, getting that $100 million deal. Right deal. Do we have to re-record because I fucked it all up by playing that? Do I have no, to edit that out? No. I'm nervous now. Why? Why? Because we get we get that letter. No one's gonna say. We anything. get that thing. Dude, we, if, if Cody that's, could if hear that's it. what they come back and get us with. If Cody heard it, then we all heard Dude, it. If they just li- if they li- <laughs> if Cody heard it, yeah, but they're not gonna heard. do anything about that. They'll just get that. We might get a cease and desist on the YouTube. It might happen. It's not they gonna, might tell us to take that happen. video down. It's not gonna happen. So ten people won't get to <laughs> listen to the. <laughs> the ramp. only thing that's gonna if they go through our whole ramble catalog yep. and we don't get a phone call for the sequel to Six Pack. <laughs> Then we're not going to get a we're phone fine. call. We're fine. We're in the clear. Kenny Rogers jizzing on. <laughs> we're in the clear. Children. If we said Kenny Rogers <laughs> jizzed on a kid's face and no one called us on that one, we're in the No one's listening. No one's listening to this. <laughs> no one's listening. No one that cares anyway is listening. 
<laughs> would Kenny Rogers have the Dave Campo blowjob face during that scene, or would he be in? Well, it? Remember, you have to remember he was He's hanging, he was hung. He, he was, hung himself. Right, the jizz that already came out just hits the kid. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh fuck! Why are we doing this again? <laughs> Why are we? See, Cody just wisely lays out on these moments. He knows. He knows to get away. Cody just puts the microphone down. Not gonna talk right now. <laughs> don't they? Don't need me for this moment. Nope. This segment. Oh. Not needed for this one. When it's played in the, in court, I can have deniability. <laughs> yeah. Plausible deniability. It was plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Just imagine them playing that in court, <laughs> and us not laughing. How would we not laugh? <laughs> we die not? laughing. <laughs> we would fucking die laughing. Are you kidding? And then, then our laughter is contagious and spreads to the jury. <laughs> We're crushing, and they're dying, exonerated. And then our lawyer, of course, is laughing. His we ass walk. Off. We and walk. And then the, the defense, the prosecution's laughing. We walk. It's a judge starts laughing. Yeah, it's a no brainer. Yeah. It is a fucking. You can't. It is. Yeah, Not that's. Laughing. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, did you see the Dark Side of the Ring on Owen Hart? Yeah, I did. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That, it's super sad. That harness they used to hold him up. Yeah. I mean, it 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 might as well. You know those little hooks you do on a keychain at the end of yeah, a keychain. Yeah, that's what it was. That basically, that's what was holding him fucking up. Was one of those little things you press down on? Now, did it break or was it not fastened properly? It, it broke. It only, I mean, it only. I mean, it only took six pounds of pressure to release the hook, so it got caught. I, I heard that it got caught on something, and then it, it didn't take much force at all to God. let him go. So the pre- the idea was WWE was like, nope, it just takes him too long to unhook this harness when he lands. We want him to land, and boom, it's gone. So they added this rig to it that you put barely any pressure and it just snaps off. And so as he was coming down, I guess it got caught and it just snapped off. Oh, God, that's awful. Yeah. Fuck, dude. Yes. They sh- I never saw that pay-per-view. My, my roommate, I, watched, I watched it. My live. roommate Jeff rented it. Uh, no, I watched it. He bought it. it. And I came back. I was doing a gig. It was a Sunday. I was doing a gig that night. Yeah. And I got back and he was just stunned. And I'm like, what's going on? He's like, you know, I can believe that Owen Hart just died. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. And he was like, and they kept doing they the go. fucking show. There was a fucking blood stain in the ring. In right there. Oh and god. And they kept wrestling. And the ring was in. They said the ring was like indented. Yeah, there's a dent where he landed. landed. God. Like. And McMahon, keep going. Show must go on. The and then putting, man. and then leaving Jr. ten seconds to report it to everyone watching at home. And the people in the arena did not know, but yep. the people watching on the pay per view, they did. knew. Oh, yeah. Lawler, JR, in the interview, Lair, JR says Lawler knew. Like, Lawler went back and then came back and just looked like a ghost. He said Lawler oh, just I remember, looked. Oh, I remember Lawler leaving the frame. Right. Leaving JR to sit there and talk. And then Lawler came back and sat down, and he was just, like, gone. Gone. Well, and, he, and he was talking in, like, his regular voice. He, yeah. he wasn't like, doing the, it, the Lawler announcer voice. It was. And probably he had to go back and he had to fucking have McMahon in here going, keep going, keep it going. That's what JR said. He said he got a voice in his ear saying, you got to tell him what happened. Keep going. He had 10 seconds. JR had 10 seconds to and improvise. And that guy is on the panel to reopen America. Yes. Fuck them. Yeah. Exactly. Fuck Trump. Fuck that dude. Vince McMahon. Fuck all of them. Unreal. Fuck he's got, he has to hate how he's coming off in this series. Oh, my <laughs> God. It is. Br- I mean, Jesus. He's, a, he's a piece of shit. He it always has been. Uh, yeah, and he, that's that's why Hart's not in the, the Hall of Fame. His wife did, refuses. She's like, nope. Every time they ask her, no, she's like, fuck he you. He's I, like, I'm, I'm not surprised him in Bret there. Hart went in. I know. She's like, I'm not. Jerry, put- did you watch the Snooka episode? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. The Snooka episode is rough because, like, there's a cop. Who you can tell his house was paid for by the WWF because any new evidence him. he just shoots it all down. Like nope, nope. They caught him lying. Yeah, that you, you. It's brutal. Like that, it, uh, you will get livid watching that that uh, detective. I wonder if all this shit ever comes out about McMahon ever. Like it even kind after, of after he dies. Oh, I wonder about that. Like like all the bad shit. If it just if, if Stephanie like, and Shane will let it come out, or right. it gets out somehow. There's no way they would let it. I bet. There's no fucking way. Dude, this shit was, man, that was the fucking, oh, God. I mean, worth watching. It's a great show, but Jesus, that one was rough. That Owen Hart one was fucking rough. God. Yeah. That was, oh, man, just having, when you have Jim Cornette cry, 
Like yeah. it was. I mean, when Jim Cornette starts to cry, because apparently Owen Hart's last words were "get out of the way." He was trying to save people that he might have hit on the way. He was just screaming for people to get out of the way because he didn't want to hit anyone coming down. Like, and the referee was just looking at something, and he goes, all of a sudden, I just felt this jolt, and the ring just jammed, the rope, top rope just jammed my finger. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then he looks, and was like, oh, God. God. Like, it was damn it, awful. fucking bonkers, man. Fucking, fucking awful. wild shit. And entirely preventable. Too. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Just they didn't, want, they didn't want to waste five seconds of him unhooking the harness. That was it. Five seconds too long. How did this... Bret Hart ever agree to go back? I don't know, dude. Well, I, well the Hart <laughs> family wanted nothing to do with the wrongful death lawsuit. They all took the WWE side. The Hart family all went on the WWE side. It was just Owen Hart's widow. She was the only one. The, the, the Hart family was like, well, we might still get some work out of Vince one day. So Jesus. And they can't. also say that, that Bret, awful. Bret was only getting involved because he wanted to get like his footage back. Yeah. And then once he realized he wasn't going to get that, he kind of just kind of left yeah. the conversation. God. Fucking wild shit, man. Dude, that shit was, oh, fucking fuck. Shitty people. And I asked Andre, so if we have a kid, if they want to be a pro wrestler, she's like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> but what if he really, really, what really, 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 really wants, wants to? Do to? It? Here's the problem with watching Dark Side of the Ring with Andrea. Is she has no compa- she has compassion for the tragedy. Yeah. She has no compassion for some of the people involved. Like <laughs> it was the one about the UEW or whatever, right? The one that was on ESPN two for a minute. That that rival company that formed and it man- like Mick Foley started with him and it all fell apart. And like one of their main guys, they show him and he just goes, he's like a sixty five year old man. He's like, well, I always wanted to work in the pro wrestling business. Andre, oh, this fucking loser. <laughs> it's like, Jesus. <laughs> like, come on. It's his dream. It's all he's ever wanted. This fucking loser. <laughs> Fuck your dream. I, I, you know what I should have never showed her was that fucking grown man in sweatpants. It's still real to me. <laughs> like I it's still never... real to me, damn it. It's still <laughs> she, real to me. I could not imagine going to meet my heroes and just having on sweatpants. <laughs> like, like, I like there's, when, a, there's a triplet autograph signing. Yeah, the Aikman, Emmett, and Michael Arvin, and I just show you up. You show up in sweatpants, Crocs. And a T-shirt with cheese stains on it. A cheese stain T-shirt. You gotta love you guys, man. And he's just I love all three of you. You're the best. I love you guys. And it's just like a caricature of like, like Dallas's most popular morning radio DJ in like the '80s. That's who's on my T-shirt. And I with sweatpants. Sweatpants. No. Cooter, cooter in the morning. You know, I just have you know like a, a so. cooter in the morning with sweatpants. And you have a fucking big gulp yeah. while you're you're holding the big gulp in line, like a shit bag. An idiot. Oh. So did she think that Gypsy Joe had it coming? G- Honey, I'm sorry you're needed again. This is important. It's very important. So important. I I think he did. I'm gonna say he did a little bit. Like, did you think Gypsy Joe had it coming in the dark side of the ring? The old man, the old who man would, who, who, who didn't sold. sell, he didn't sell any moves, and then, and then a new, new Jack, Jack beat the Jack fuck, beat out, the of fuck out of him. He had it coming, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, see, Gypsy, she was, but New Jack killing a guy, no problem. That poor guy going, I've always wanted to work in wrestling. Ah, oh, this fucking loser <laughs> is out. It's just out. <laughs> see. I <laughs> so mad. She was, so she, mad. She was, and again, the, the thing is, she was like, I guess should have never showed her that it's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> it's still that, real to me, damn that, it. Because I was just, uh, look, you have a point. I wouldn't go, I love wearing sweatpants. I'm not going to go meet my heroes in sweatpants like that guy did. <laughs> Maybe. No, I would not. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, Dirk Nowitzki. Don't go meet Dirk in sweatpants. I got on sweatpants. <laughs> oh fuck! Flip flops. A where's the beef T-shirt? <laughs> Flip flops and sweatpants <laughs> with socks on, like dirty, like white socks that are half gray and <laughs> sandals. 
Oh, and sweatpants oh, to go meet my fuck. aunt. In an auto zone hat. In an auto zone hat. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's an employee hat, but I've never worked there. Like, I don't know how I got the employee hat. I never worked at, at a yard hat. sale, obviously. At a yard sale. I got an auto zone. You bought a hat at a yard sale. That's not fucking gross. Didn't clean it. <laughs> didn't wash it. It still got the same sweat stains that it had before I got it. And I get to go meet Dirk Nowitzki. <laughs> Cody, would you meet Tim Duncan in sweatpants? If you knew you were going to meet Tim Duncan. If you knew you were guaranteed to meet Tim Duncan at a, at a function. Would you be okay with sweatpants on? <laughs> would you start walking out the door and go, you know what? I'm just going to leave the sweatpants on. <laughs> I'm going to leave the sweatpants on. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he spent a ton of time in sweatpants himself. That's so, I mean, true. Warm-ups. Oh. That's right. He can't get mad. Oh, fuck. Amazing. Ooh. But, yeah. So, by the way, email us. Ramble at therambledpod.com. Follow us on Twitter at PodcastRamble1. Instagram, and PodcastRamble. And email us. The people of one hit that tune, Andy. Yes, just in case. I'm, I'm sending out Nathan Wallace's stuff this week. Yes. Should I the, want to send out other people's stuff. Should the title so far be, would you meet your hero? Would you wear sweatpants to meet your hero? I think so. <laughs> Hold on. Let me well, I think we already know Cody's answer. Yes, yeah. he would. Would you, Eddie? Would I? John Riggins. John Riggins. Well, he would probably be in sweatpants as well. Right. So, knowing him. <laughs> he may not be clothed. I mean. Knowing I John Riggins. I would do it. Probably. What ramble are we on? What ramble is 234. this? 234. dude. Man. Marla Gibbs uh, is going to have to. Well, we know because this is the Fred Willard one. So right. tentatively, in pencil, 235 is Marla Gibbs. The Marla Gibbs ga- <laughs> gala. Unless something happens. Unless something. I think something already happened. Um, <laughs> look, I'm, look, I'm giving Cody a chance, a little bit of something here. What? With the li- we'll, we'll get to the list for next week. Okay. I'm extending an olive branch to okay. Cody. Because I, he's, he's sti- I know he probably, even though we told him not to, he's probably in the Marla Gibbs outfit. Right? Yeah. Cody? I mean, you guys told me this was the week. <laughs> we said maybe. We said maybe, but Fred Willard passed. The Fred and Willard then died. That bumped it again. It oh, got God. bumped. God damn it! I know. I'm sorry, but I mean, don't you don't mind being in that outfit, do you? I, I mean, it's a again, as I said, it's a rental, so it's costing me money. <laughs> I, I if I were you, I'd just buy it. At this yeah, point. you might. You probably have bought it. You probably just be. Yeah, you see if there's enough to buy it, and then move on. But. Twitter at Podcast Ramble One, Instagram at Podcast Ramble. We have merch. We do have merch. Public store. It's right there. We made eight bucks in April. Eight bucks. Please subscribe to the Ramble. Give it a five star rating and a positive text review. That matters. I don't know why. I'm working it matters. on a, I'm working on a new Ramble logo. Because <gasps> right now our Ramble logo is based off the Avengers logo. We got to do a new one. I was thinking about doing an X Men. I love it. Ramble, and you mean Ramble Cody's logo. names in it, right? Yeah. How great would an that X-Men, be? An X-Men uh, Ramble logo. And that means new, new, new merch. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Means new so unless, unless any other Ramblers have any other suggestions out there, email us, and then we can yeah. maybe almost have like a little vote or something. Yeah. Right now, X-Men is the logo I'm I like go X-Men. With. I'm liking that one. Like the classic X-Men. That it starts be, with a big oh, R that goes into the Yeah, Ramble. dude. Because the powers of, that, powers of right. R and House of R. That's I think what we I was should. thinking. Now... Please subscribe to us on iTunes if you don't mind. Give us a five star rating, a positive text review. 108. 108. We were 107, we were 107 last, last, week. last week. 108. What? This is from the homie Ron. Ron. Ron plays Ron games Rivera? badly. Almost. Not oh, Riverboat Ron. Shit. Ron plays games badly. You can follow him on Twitch. Ron P G B. Uh, better. Oh, let's see. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me open Ron up. Ron Rivera. I was so excited. Well, don't discount. Ron? I'm not. I'm happy, Ron. Come on. Plays games badly is, is left to review. He said, better than Transformers bed sheets covering the windows. <laughs> I thought I did this already, but apparently not. What's not to love? They even have a band leader. <laughs> oh, shit. Are you serious, Cody? Yeah. Whoa. What? Whoa. What? Tornado warning in Cody's neighborhood. Oh, shit, Cody. If he loses power, he might be off to fucking Oz. No, Cody, Oz. Do, not st- do not get off the air. We want <laughs> do not the, get off we the air. We want to hear, hear you it. die. We want to hear it happen. We want to know what happens. We want to know how it goes. I'll leave the mic on. But how I'm, bad I'm is it out power. there right now? Is it like... I haven't... Is it one of those I'm, like where it's kind of a clear day, but yet there's still a tornado warning? Those are the scariest days in Texas, where it's not even fucking raining, and then out yeah. of the blue, there's a tornado warning. It was like that earlier, and then just now I, I got to take shelter warnings okay. coming on my phone. Now you need to go outside with the microphone. Yes. <laughs> and do like a weather report. Please yeah. run to the twister. Run into it. Please. As fast as you can. This will be the best ramble ever. Ever. Give, give the finger of God speech. From yes. Yes. <laughs> 
Dude, are you fucking serious? Jesus Christ. So, warning, that means they've seen one. That's that right. there's a, there was a, a tornado was out there somewhere in around. Cody's neighborhood. Roaming around. They've seen one. Jesus Christ. You you, you watch is what you're a little less yeah. afraid Good of. I think it doesn't have a hoodie on. Oh, they get shot. Forget it. They'd have killed it. They'd have shot yeah, it. it would have killed that tornado. It rotation somewhere. <laughs> Fuck, man. That is Fuck. fucking scary. Well, be careful. Get out there, man. So, Cody, Give if you have to bail, let I'm us I'm getting know. conflicting things from the two of you. <laughs> All right, fine. Get out there. I'll join <laughs> Thank you. Get out there. Pick We're it. trying to get um, let's live a must-listen-to podcast here. Wait, let's here. switch this to YouTube. We can live stream this. Yes. <laughs> we can see Take this. your phone out and live stream it. You know what? That will be making the safest because I guarantee you if we plug it that way, nothing will happen. Right. So, there it is. That's, That's true. Jeez, how long does ha- is how long is the watchman going on? Or did it just go straight to warning? As far as I know, it went straight to warning. Jesus Christ! What's man. after warning? Death, death, death. So it's, <laughs> it's watch. Like there's a, there is a tornado in front of you. Watch, yeah, warning. It goes you're, watch. You're inside warning. a tornado. Oh fuck! I'm spinning. That's what happens. <laughs> fuck those a cow are, hit me. Yeah, those are the stages. Okay, dude. I was one time. I was on the road doing going up to uh, fucking near the Panhandle of Texas for a gig. I'm driving in the middle of tornado season. That's mm-hmm. Tornado Alley. Yeah. And I'll never forget, I I felt the car just get pulled to the left. And I look, and a one just was starting to form. What did you do? I was just nothing to do. I was toast. I was dead. And it just died. The fucking tornado started and then just stopped and just... I was like, it was literally pulling you. It was starting to yank the car, and I was like, "Oh, this is it!" Like and how then, far away? Hundred yards? If that to the to the left, and then it just boom, just goes away. I was so, it started to form, and then it stopped. Oh, it was dude. the luckiest fucking day. Of That's my, when you started believing in Jesus Christ as your savior. As my savior, I took him on right then and there. <laughs> I was like, I believe in the man now. How selfish would I be if that's what it was? <laughs> like if it, well, you know. Well, obviously he saved me. So. Oh, really? That same hour, uh, you know, my family got slaughtered by a serial killer. But uh, that's what those people like. The, he saved the people you. like after nine eleven. That church that was nearby didn't get a scratch right. on it. I'm like, it's God. I'm like, okay, but he let three thousand people. Oh, die. those guys were okay. Was, but yeah. he saved the building. There were probably a lot of devoutly right. religious people at work that day who died. Right. Get the fuck out the of here. Religion's awesome. Oh God, fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, Cody, be safe, man. Give us updates. Is he still Eric? there? Maybe he's gone. Cody? Cody, you gone? He's gone. No, I'm here. I'm just oh. I'm looking at the radar. And, we and thought you were dead. How, we're how, is the wind just going like crazy right now? Or is it like eerily calm? What's going on over there? Uh, I'll go, I can go check at the door or oh, my window. God, when people I'll, hear, give, I'll give a full weather report. People like hear this seconds. on Wednesday. It's going to be as if like it's hearing Cody's right ghost. Right now, it's Cody's ghost. Don't jinx Cody's him. Cody's going to be dead Don't jinx by him. Wednesday. Don't jinx him. <laughs> I, I'm not jinxing him by saying he's going to die. If I was going, oh, there's no way you're going to die. That's <laughs> then you're jinxing, jinxing him. You're but right. I'm saying you're definitely you're dying reverse right jinx. now. I'm reverse Beautiful. jinxing him. Darren McGregor says, nothing this week but love. Hey, Jerry, Eddie, and Cody, no submissions. Again, it's been nonstop few weeks. And even with a fucking reminder beeping on my phone, 8 a.m. on Saturday, I keep forgetting to compile my entries. Thank you, as always, for all the free, funny uh, access across all your great content. Uh, Cody, props to Corn Stream. I'm really enjoying them. He's checking on the tornado, but he'll. I'll let him know he does this. <laughs> More live stuff when you can. That was fun. Stay safe, Ramblers. McGregor. McGregor. Yeah, I do, I do want to live stream some more stuff. That was fun. That was yeah. fun when we live stream that. Yeah. We got to do that more, man. Maybe not as early. Not as early. What can we talk about, though? I don't know. Like, what else is there well, to talk about? I know they're going to do a Comic-Con release, right? They're, we're definitely live streaming that. We got to live stream that. that shit. We are definitely. We're going to live stream the fuck out of that. And whenever we have this Ramble uh, sleepover... We got a live stream. We got a live stream the Ramble sleepover. <laughs> should we have people watch us sleep and they can pay donate yes. money? Yeah. Like those skanks. Well, they should watch us masturbate and then right. sleep. Like those Twitch skanks. Who just, <laughs> I'm just going to get to bed now. I'm going to leave my camera. And the people donate, they donate. while she's sleeping. Like, it gives a fuck. Cody, how's it looking? Uh, it's The, the sky is black, uh, oh, so God. not looking great. But it's just like a little bit windy. That's it. Jesus okay. Christ. But Be the skies careful. do not look good. Right. Darren McGregor says, thank you, Cody. He's enjoying corn stream. He let us oh, know. Awesome. Good. Look at that. I, I mean, there's probably no more. Corn no, streams. it's done. This you guys heard like, the last one. This is it. But you should, Cody, we're can, trying to reverse jinx you. Can I get Can I get a Hall of Fame hat on a uh, of mm. my podcast on the next Ramble? Oh, oh, maybe. If you this is if, what's going to bump the Barley Gibbs episode. Yeah, oddly enough, it's going to be Cody's episode. Cody, that's poetic. It, it is, is kind poetic. of poetic. 
<laughs> this is what's going <laughs> to knock Marley Gibbs down again. Jesus. Cody's episode. All right, well, let's sing a song so we can get Cody to safety. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is on us a little bit. We are making what him stand outside. <laughs> Talk about it. He's outside describing it. So, all right. What hat? Fred Willard, the late Fred Willard. Grady W. Smith, he said, Fred Willard should wear the hat for his role in a mighty wind. Yeah. His great. speech in, in that about how he used to be on a sitcom with the, hey, what happened? Catchphrase makes me laugh the hardest of anything I've seen him do. Wow, that's not Can't wrong. Argue. Hard to argue with. That's a good one. Let's see. Um, oh, no, that's just uh, Joe Capone. Joe Capone says, Fred Willard enters the Hall of Fame with his announcer mic in hand and a UBS hat upon his head as Jerry Hubbard from Fernwood slash America tonight. Yeah, that's great. That is some absolute <laughs> greatness was that show. God damn. Colin Maggs, he breaks from tradition. Hey, guys, a quick query. I've been watching The Clone Wars after hearing you all talk about how good it is. Though I'm only into early episodes, something's confusing me. With Sidious, Palpatine, Dooku, and Ventress all being Sith, what happened to the rule of two? I'm not being a militant nitpicker. I'm just wondering if I've missed something. Take care, guys. Colin Maggs. Ah, uh, I got that same question. What? what? Yeah, why is, what is Ventress doing hanging around? Is she considered Dooku's... Uh, like a learner, whatever, what the fuck? Not Padawan, it's an assassin. But he's an, it's she's a, an assassin. She's, she's not she's technically. She's force sensitive, so she's she, not technically a Sith in training. No, she's a technically an assassin. The way a, a Savage Press becomes an assassin. Ah, God, Colin Max is just oh, started. Sorry, Colin Max. Colin Max has just started the show. Sorry, Colin. I mean, it, it didn't come out ten fucking years ago. Um, Eddie, so, uh, jeez, you look what happened. Fuck the like, Rambler fuck, mode has fuck, been hey, he unleashed. Just kicks on. It's a, it's a hair trigger, man. <laughs> it's a fucking. It's a six pound harness. Damn. that just rips right off. <clears throat> uh, no, I, because I think Sidious's whole thing is he's trying to stay remain hidden. Yes. So he's allowing Dooku to have someone under him. So it looks as if Dooku is the because he knows that he doesn't give a fuck about them. No. He knows he's playing the long game with Anakin. He's like, yeah, sure. Have yeah. your little apprentice, apprentice. Yeah. Have your little apprentice slash assassin. Right. Because then, when you go into post Clone Wars, post Revenge of the Sith, when they start having the Inquisitors that go out, they're, they're actually force sensitive. Uh, right there. Yeah. That, that former former Jedi's doll. that have gone to become dark yes. Jedi's. They're force sensitive. They're no, though they're not apprentices. Right. To Vader, yes. they are sent out to hunt down the other remaining right, Jedi. Right, right. Okay. So they're not technically, they're like assassins. They're they not, don't have a seat at the Sith table. No. Right. That makes sense. They are on the practice squad. Yeah. They're like, right? it's they're like JV. Like, they're the Sith practice yeah, squad. Yeah, sort But of. they're not going to get called up. No. They're but, there. They're there. Like they're, the, they're like the eight guys on that minor league team to support the one star that's that coming through. That you know them. is going to go. Yes. Yes. Perfect. That so. makes sense. Cody, you still with us? Yes, I have not been right. swept away yet. Okay. <laughs> or did you sweep yourself away did with you run Clone Wars into talk? the tornado? <laughs> Once we started talking Clone Wars, you just like, fuck <laughs> this. Zach Dollum says, hey, guys. Hey, Jerry, Eddie, uh, hope you're jo I hope you're both enjoying your Red Hulk figures. Major yeah, shout out are. to Zach Dollum Big for that. Time. Cody, I hope you're enjoying not having a crippling addiction to action figures. Yes. I hope the three of you, your loved ones, all my fellow Ramblers and James are staying safe, sane, and COVID-free. Thank you again, Zach Dollum. Yeah, for that was that. huge, man. Man. Huge. Um. Oh my God! What? Before we get onto the list, it's from Zach Dollum. May I take a second to ask all the Ramblers for a spare good vibe and well wishes that they may have for my dad. Oh. By the time this episode drops, he will have hit a hundred days quarantined on an oil rig in the middle of the Persian Gulf. Oh my God! With Damn. still no real idea of when he may be home. Fuck. He and his crew are safe, healthy, have plenty of food, internet access, and are still being paid, so things are not as dire as they could be, but still. Well, that is some good news. A hundred days is a long time to be Fuck, stuck dude. in what amounts to a metal box in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, dude, that sucks. Fuck, dude. At least, yeah. they, at least they're healthy and they got food and shit. Yes. Fuck. But major shout out and yeah, well wishes to Zach Dollum's father. Big time. Man. And wow. thank you, Zach, for those Red Hulks. Yes. Did they make our day or what? Made my day. Jesus. When they came in. Fuck, dude. Oh, Christmas. When he, it he, was he Christmas. sent me the message, he's like, look what I got you. And then right. I screenshot it, sent it to you. Yes. We were like, oh, oh my God. And then I think they, he sent it to me knowing 
that you were going to try to screw me over, so I needed photographic Yeah, that was evidence. smart. That yes. was smart, and because I would have been like, Eddie, ahead. what do you mean? We, I just I got one. That's what I would have said. But Dalem said he sent two. I, I don't know, man. One. Ask him. I got I one. So. He was smart. Yeah. He knew it. I'm a little pissed at him for that. A little pissed. Okay. All right. A little pissed. All right. well, I mean, not that I would have fucked you over. No. But he robbed me of the chance, and that hurts. That hurts. Uh, and then Zach says, Fred Willard, man, this was a tough loss. I've been a huge fan of his work for a long time, especially his work in Christopher Guest films. When A Mighty Wind was first put out in limited release, Sam's mom and I drove from Shreveport to Dallas to see the film opening weekend at the Angelica Film Center. And I'm pretty sure I nearly got us kicked out of the theater when Willard first appeared on screen with that ridiculous dyed blonde spiked hairdo. I lost my shit laughing and completely missed 90% of what he actually said in the scene. <laughs> I'll say he goes in the Hall of Fame as Buck Laughlin, the show... The dog show announcer from Best in Show. He's only in the movie for about 20 minutes, but this character and performance are a terrific primer yeah. on what made Fred so great. That's my pick. Oh, man. that He was, was like fuck fucking so funny. He was Laughlin. so fucking funny. The though. name alone, Buck Laughlin. God, he was so funny. Fuck. Brian. Did you? Um, oh, yeah. I'm go sorry. Because Mike, I just might as well talk about it now because that's my pick, too. And they, Jimmy Kimmel had this thing about um, like a tribute to Fred Willard because he did a bunch of stuff on there. And they had eugene levy on on the show uh or like giving a tribute and they talked about when they were writing well like constructing best in show that they basically didn't have a third act and they said that they wanted to do a real dog show but like that's not funny right. and so someone just pitched the idea of what if fred willer is a commentator and then that just sent that gives the movie its entire third act wow. oh that's amazing wow. wow yeah and he apparently came in for just two like, days two days they just said. shot all that stuff in a row and then he was done. Trema- oh, fuck. And Oh, God. Such a brilliant man. Amazing. Such a brilliant man. Oh, he oh, fuck yeah. Brian Withers, uh, the late, great Golden Rambler, who you pronounced dead when Bill yeah. Withers died. Right. Um, he says. Justifiably so. Ramble 234, another screw job, another Montreal screw job from Marla Gibbs. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm too stoned to write anything coherent, but here goes. He has a question for you, Cody. Cody. When does the Re227 come out? You know, the <laughs> podcast is all about Marla Gibbs. Wow. Uh, uh, Way to put the ball in Cody's court. Yeah, exactly. I mean, wow. Way to take the pressure off us. I mean, we have to have that conversation for me to ha- dedicate. <laughs> I, I will dedicate as many episodes as the number of episode it airs on to reviewing that, that great day. <laughs> two, two, the great 227. <laughs> he says Fred Willer goes in for Spinal Tap. All right. That was a great scene. Jesus Christ. That was a fucking amazing scene. Gary. Gary says, um, hey, Jerry, Eddie, and Gray Pater Cody. Here's my list. <laughs> Hall of Fame hat. Fred Willer goes in from Buck Laughlin, best in show. Yeah. Wonderfully bemused character. Has no idea what the hell's going on. and just seems to be happy on his own track. The quintessential Willard character. Very true. Graham and Faye. With a dizzying career on so many platforms, with a vast plethora of entertainment spanning decades, countless cultural contributions to modern comedy zeitgeist, there's only one thing that could be in the Hall of Fame hat. Mr. Willard walks up to the podium wearing a white shirt, black hands, and rocking his Tiki Theater Exposium <laughs> baseball hat. Nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, there's so many. There's, you could go Joe Santos, who gave us that pizza. Yeah, good pizza. Our pizza party. He goes. He goes in as Shelby Forthright from Wally, the first wow. human in a Pixar movie. Wow! Yeah, that's not one. bad. That was a good. That was a great moment too. Uh, and that's it. That's everybody. You have best in show. I have best in show. Cody, you yeah. have best in show as well. I do. I have best in show as well too. Yeah. That I mean, it was one of those moments where like I loved waiting for Guffman. Yeah. And I was lo- I love best in show. Yeah. I love that movie. But dude, the pop that that got when he shows up as the announcer because yeah. i was wondering like why isn't fred willard in this the whole movie yeah. i'm watching going where's fred willard because yeah. he was in and then i was like oh yeah. and boom and he literally steals the movie just destroys it oh fuck um ramble 235 extending a minor olive branch to cody what hat would go 1980 sitcoms go into the theme song hall of fame oh what sitcom theme is on there you go the hat that helps, two, two, right? Seven. It, I mean, Cody, uh, I'm giving you a chance, buddy. <laughs> this is for you. You can you can do all the two two seven and you I'm, want right now. I'm not going to get burned by this again, Jefferson. You're not going to get burned. We're doing it. It's two two seven. I mean, you can say it. You can pick it. You can it, pick it right now. It goes on the '80s sitcom themes. 
Uh, all my cousins are texting, hey, do you want to play Friday the 13th? Uh, we're in the middle of a tornado warning. Yeah, I know. Uh, tor- uh, LOL, we're still going to play. Uh, yeah, so they're all in San Antonio in the middle of a giant fucking tornado warning. So holy Christ, everyone. Well, why am I saying be careful? This isn't live. It's not Cody, live. Cody, be they're, careful. They're all dead by the time this They're all dead Wednesday. by the time this happens. So. Um, reverse so. jinx, everybody. Reverse jinxing it. We're reverse jinxing it. She's playing with your toys. She's playing with your toys. What the fuck are you doing? She's playing with your toys. Put them back. She's playing with your toys. Put them back. (laughs) All right. She Um, picked up your Red Hulk. Oh, that's my Red Hulk. Do you think when she picked up Red Hulk, she like she she touched the the pecs? Of course. It was just like, huh. Yeah, I'm sure she did. Huh. Sure. And then she's somehow going to say that Schmerelson's flabby self is better. (laughs) It's better. It's no I like it better. It's no, it's no, it's no Scotty. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Open. This was to a spinal tap. Open, close, and encore. Ramble 235. Cody, you ready for this? Yeah. I'm going to keep checking in to make sure you're not dead. Um, 80 sitcom themes. Uh, What's, you go to a concert uh, of nothing but 80 sitcom themes. What's that? Two, Open, two, close, seven. encore. Right? What, what, I mean, I, I, we know Cody's putting 227 in there somewhere. Uh, Grady W. Smith, he says, Spinal Tap opens with Tonight I'm Going to Rock You Tonight, close with Stonehenge, encore with Christmas with the Devil. That's a good one. That's a hell of a show. Uh, Joe Capone, they open with Tonight I'm Going to Rock You Tonight. They close with Break Like the Wind. They encore with Stonehenge. Uh, Colin Maggs, oh, that was just a Clone Wars question. All right, then. Then you know what? That's all we need. That's from all Colin. we need from Colin. That's fine. Zach Dollum says, quick aside before the open close encore, I got to see Michael McKee and Christopher Guest and Harry Shear live on their unwigged and unplugged tour. The only time they've ever toured is themselves rather than in character as Spinal Tap or the Folksman. It was a great show and a great reminder that as hilarious it's as Tap and the Folksman may be, they're played by seriously talented musicians. Yes. I'll say Spinal Tap opens with Tonight I'm going to rock you tonight. They close with Big Bottoms and Who's Encore with Stonehenge. Okay. All right. I have that as mine as well. Oh, Zach Dollum and Cody right there. Chance to screw over Dollum again. Brian Withers says uh, they open with rock, big bottoms, close with rock and roll creation, encore with Hell Hall. Got me in a hell hole. You know where you stand in a hell <laughs> Gary says big bottoms, sex farm woman, and what else? Oh, sex farm. Stonehenge. Uh, Graham and Faye, they open with Big Bottom. The bigger the cushion, the sweeter the cushion. That's what I said. (laughs) My favorite lyric of all Spinal Taps is from Big Bottom. The next one, the looser the waistband, the deeper the quicksand, or so I have read. (laughs) This is my favorite (laughs) line. (laughs) Or so I have read. (laughs) My baby fits me (laughs) like a flesh tuxedo. (laughs) I love to sink her (laughs) with my pink torpedo. (laughs) So stupid. (laughs) Big Bottoms. They close with hellhole, living in a hellhole. I don't want to stay in this hellhole. I don't want to die in this hellhole. Girl, get me out of this hellhole. And they encore with bit school. Try to teach you, but you nice. just won't be good. You won't behave the way a big girl should. Time to give that whip a crack. I'm going to have to send you back to bit school. Bit school. <laughs> Fuck. So great. Oh, my God. Joe Santos says they open with... Um, uh, Oh, uh, it's open Ameri- open with America, close with Christmas with the Devil, Encore, Big Bottom to get the real party started. There we go. Big Bottoms. Big Bottoms. Cody, who do you, what do you got? You, same as Zach Dollum, right? Yes. He scored. Yeah. Eddie? I have open with Give Me Some Money. Oh, Give Me Some Money. money. I have you close with Big Bottom. Oh. And then Encore with Tonight I'm Gonna Rock You Tonight. tonight. I have him open with Sex Farm. Sex Farm Woman, <laughs> close with Stonehenge, encore with Christmas with the Devil. Next ramble, you go to a concert that's nothing but 80s theme songs. What's the open, close, and encore? And what go? What's what 80s sitcom theme goes on the Hall of Fame hat? Mm. That ain't bad. Mm. 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 I'm reading books. I'm playing. Cody, how we doing? Got to check in. Pussy over here. We're reading uh, books. Playing doing okay. Uh, the it is completely dark out the window. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, no rain that I can hear so far, but... Damn. That's scary. Jesus Christ. He's going to die never hearing this harmonica. Never. That's what's... Real. That's, that's the, the true tragedy. I know. Cody, you don't want to die not hear. Think about that. That'll keep you going, right? One more day. That'll yeah. keep you one more day. You'll fight this. You'll fight this. You... Don't give in. Don't give in. 
Don't you give in. God damn it. Don't you give in. <laughs> Jesus, that's so fucking scary. Have you, ever been, have you ever had a tornado sweep through your area ever, yeah. Cody? Like, no. actually? No, because San Antonio is a little bit, I mean... I, I, it's it's the tornadoes very rarely ever actually yeah. hit. Yeah. They usually die before they get to us. But yeah, Jesus. yeah. I had one in Virginia. Yeah, take out, take the roof off a house in my neighborhood. Damn, man, yeah. didn't hit you. No, it didn't nothing. hit us. It, I mean, it got dark and. Do I remember that happened in Dallas? We hit in the bath. We laid. We went to the bathroom and sat. You know, we sat in oh, the bathroom. Fuck. Me and my mom and my brother. My dad was at work. One came really close to our apartment building. I remember having to open up all the windows. It was so yeah. fucking scary. Jeez. Yeah. So the glass will break. So the, the glass, pressure changes. The pressure changes. So you want to save the glass from breaking, so you open up the windows. What's that? Like a new thing they tell you to do? It was 1983, like, I think, when this happened. But yeah. Well, I, I was born and raised in the Midwest. Yeah. And, you know, we had tornadoes. And yeah. I don't ever remember open up them windows. Yeah. It was scary. It was fucking... We See, learned Rambles so much on the Ramble. So educational. Come on. Ah. Uh, <laughs> we're we're good for a lot of things. There we are. Anything you're reading right now? Um, I'm still reading X Fab. I'm on issue number eight, where Ooh. they fight. They're fighting Freedom Force with the Blob. Ah, uh, yep. The Blob and what's her face? Uh, the fucking what's the Queefy? Queefy. 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 McQueeferson. Spider Woman. Part of Freedom Woman. Force. Oh man, could she have it? Spider Woman. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 No question. Oh, yeah. Every Easy. Day. Every day. Twice All day, Sunday. every day? Twice on Sunday. Twice on Sunday. Cody, you reading anything right now? Not at the moment. I We covered five movies on the podcast this week, oh so I've God. just been watching. What was, a be- what was the a best? Okay, best new movie that's out right now. Best new movie out right now is The Painter and the Thief. That documentary you're telling us about on Hulu. Yeah, I was. Okay. Ta- yeah, I, was I think that was before we started recording. Yes, yeah, go ahead. Like, Talk about it. That'll count for reading and playing video games. Yeah, so it's a documentary available now on Hulu. Um, it's basically about this painter. She she's uh, she lives in Norway, and um, she's like a photorealistic painter. And she uh, at a gallery one day many years ago, she she had two paintings stolen by two guys who were extremely high on drugs, <laughs> <That's> amazing <laughs> on on heroin. And um, do they have a podcast called The Ramble? <laughs> it's, right. it, it's a little close to home. <laughs> a little bit. So, so basically, um, the guy goes to jail. The guys go to jail, and, and um, she befriends one of them and tries to figure out like what caused them to make that decision, why they stole the painting. Because the paintings were never recovered. I think I forgot to tell you that. So the paintings were never recovered. Oh, the guy, she still became friends. Yeah the the guy for, the guy was so high that he forgot where he <laughs> what he did with the painting. Oh my god! So so basically, what happens wow. is they. They start to talk. They start to become friends, and like she kind of, he kind of becomes her muse, and so she starts painting him. And it's about their friendship, and like they're both Amazing. kind of really self-destructive people. And it's about how they come together, even though like you know he's a criminal who lost her like super important paintings. I, get, I I'm gonna see this. This sounds great, man. Yeah, it's really good. Playing any video games? I. I played a game, a couple games of Madden, and then some uh, Rocket. What's that? Oh, Rocket League. Rocket, Rocket League. That's funny um, shit. The other day. So. How about you, Eddie? No. Right. Watching Colton play video games. Yeah, I'm still playing some Predator Hunting Grounds, some yeah. Animal Crossing, and then my retro shit. Vice play a lot of Vice Project Doom yeah. to prepare myself for tomorrow's episode of Retro right. Did Rocha you get through, uh, on YouTube. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja beat Turtles. it. You beat it. You were you were you were watching. Colton I, I was. Missed. Oh. Colton was there. Oh, yeah, was we there. beat it. We beat the whole motherfucker in one setting. Beginning to, I mean, the game is built for that. Yeah, yeah. Ray had to run his mouth. Like, oh, it takes like half an hour. Okay, stop. An hour later. Ray, don't make us start the investigation. I- <laughs> we will ramp him back up. <laughs> so, been playing Turtles 4, Turtles of Time. A tremendous game. Yeah. Uh, what a great beat em up. It's just, oh, fuck, that game. It still looks good now. Oh, really? The graphics on that game still look good right now. It's very cartoonish, but it still looks good. So, yeah, I've been playing that. Predator Hunting Grounds, Animal cool. Crossing. Kill. Cool. And that's it, man. Kill. Cool. There we go. All right. Cool. I have to keep checking in, Cody. I'm scared. I'm getting PTSD from going through this shit living in Texas. How you doing? <laughs> All good so far. Man. All right. Why, did it say how long this uh, – is there a watch afterwards? Have you heard any of that yet? The warning is until 9, so I've got about 25 minutes. Damn. Wow, oh, that's a Johnny Cash song. You got twenty five minutes to go. You got twenty five minutes. Oh, dude, whoa, that's a bad whoa, omen. Whoa, whoa. That's a bad omen. 
Because he See, dies at the end of that song. He dies, song. he gets hung. Do you, look at this great That's reverse jinxing Eddie is doing. Eddie is... <laughs> Cody, you're going to please send him a bottle of champagne. I'm single-handedly keeping you alive. When right you now. come out of this, just reverse jinxing the fuck out of you right now. <laughs> Jesus, this is the... 25 the, minutes This to is go. the Cody Tornado episode. Awful omen. That's what this is. This is the Cody... Can you hear us? We're shouting out to you. Oh, look at that duet. Listen to that duet. Man. Should dude, it be a dude? If he really dies in this tornado, we can't air this hot podcast. We can't. How how with awful are we gonna the look? Whole time, I can't do that. You can't live with that on your no, conscience. Fuck. We'll have to plan to do an emergency but recording. We'll just have Dex replace. That's true. <laughs> That's true. We'll have Dex come in. <laughs> Sorry, Cody. I don't want you to hear it that way. <laughs> That's <But>. bullshit. <laughs> oh fuck. Um. All right. Shout out time. Here we go. Chris Fabinski. Mick. McLovin, Inglorious Wildcat, Todd Beller, Jen Schmidt, Brick48, Joe Santos, a.k.a. Big Daddy Toes34, Steve Harrington, Weirdo, Kyle P. Kinzer, Alfred. Kyle P. Kinzer? Yeah. Sounds like a Lucas name. Kyle P. Kinzer? Doesn't that sound a little bit, a little bit like that? That's a, a great Star Wars name. Yeah, yeah. Kyle Kinzer, it's better than Kyle Katarn. Yes. Kyle Kinzer is Kyle a P. fan. Kinzer. Kyle P. Kinzer is a fantastic Star Wars name. All right, do you mind doing this while I'm doing the? All right, Eddie. Can you what? do me a favor? Yeah. Can you rank th- who would have the best Star Wars names when I'm when I'm calling these out? Okay. You think? Okay. We could do this. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Steve Harris, uh, Kyle Pickens, or Alfred Rico, Dee Dee Johnson, Daniel Kuhn, the Eric Butts. How yeah. do you argue with that? The Eric Butts. Yeah. John Fields Art, Beer the Reaper, Kaiser Monroe, Alrim, Followers of Shesmu, Scott Prince, Graham Edmondson, Leon Edelman, Rick Braun, Daniel 673. That could be a clone trooper. Yeah, that's absolutely a clone Reed trooper. Reed Dixon, Rec- Retro Rocket Entertainment, Coppin' with Comic, Elizabeth Flores, mm. Jason Tully. Mm. I don't know if they'd work as Star Wars characters. No. The Real Zelly. No. Cool Gramps XRP. Eddie Pence, fan, Eddie Pence Fan Club. I like the idea. Don't know if that's a Star Wars I don't know. name. I, I, it might work. Captain Robin, absolutely. Captain Robin's definitely a Dash Winzu, a thousand percent. Dash Winzu, yes, pi- absolutely. The pirate cats. That's a scoundrel. No, qu- no smuggler. question. Smuggler. Spice, spice smuggler. Spice smuggler Dash Winzu. The pirate cats. Daryl Hefferman. David McGinn. Daryl Hefferman has the best name I want to hear Wesley Willis say. Mm. Take it away, Daryl Hefferman. David McGinn, Teresa 1025, <laughs> Christopher Haskell, George Olivos, Jason Peak, Matt Cottrell 77, Blinky Blink, Jamie Warner, Get the Unspecial on Netflix. No, they're all great names. None of them Star Wars names. The Ultimate Rabbit, maybe. Davis, a.k.a. Your Grandma's Pussy. Now I'm yeah, interested. Yeah, okay. I'm listening. That's definitely somebody in the rebellion. I'm listening. Alec Vasquez, Colin Mag, C. White 400. Colin play with Mags. Colin Mags. Colin I can Mags see that. I can see that. You know what my favorite Star Wars name is that no one's ever seen, I think? Crix Mundine. Crix Mundine. Remember him? He was in the Rogue Squadron, Rogue Leader games. Oh, yeah. He was at General Crix Mundine. says, I love that Crix Mundine, Crix Mundine is a great name. I think I should have Andrea legally change her name to Crix Mundine. Yeah. What do you think, babe? Right. Okay, it's going to happen. It's already done. She said yes. Perfect. Um, Crix Mundine. All right. Uh, where are we at? Uh, shit. Uh, uh, there we go. Play with the podcast. Adam Kraz. Adam Kraz. Darren Butler. Michael S. Miller. Jeff Watts. Jim Key. Taylor Johnson. Rich Morrissey. Nick Payne. Nick Payne is more of a, uh, that's the star of an 80s video game. Nick Payne. Nick Payne. Yeah. It's like right. sort of a ripoff off of a Max Stallone's Payne Cobra. Was an actual character. Stallone's Cobra. He's like some Cabretti? renegade, a renegade cop. Right, Nick Payne. Nick Payne. Right. What was his name? Cabretti. Cabretti. Yeah, Cobretti, because it was Cobra. Cobretti. <laughs> you took off the Eddie, and it was Cobra. Cobretti. Cobretti. <laughs> such, Cobretti. A good, such a good movie. Rental Three. Night moves definitely. Ken Rivera. Richard Miller. David Garcia. Jose Gonzalez. Big Daddy Joe. Thirty Four. Bay T W Podcast. Ray Tolius. Kingsley. Twenty Eight. Eric Ray Ben Tolius, Ten. Maybe? Ray would be in there. The Real Danny Mary, Scarecrow, a.k.a. Gems Weaver, and Outlaw Torn, Nick Sharp, Sephora Sean, Neil Ramiro, Kenny Todd 215, Reverend and Daddy. I don't know about that one. Raul Sanchez, <laughs> Vandeveer Von Huddleston. Ooh, Vandeveer Von Huddleston. That that's is, an imperial you know, officer. No, I think that's a great heel valet in wrestling. Va- He's being brought to the ring by Vandeveer Von Huddleston, that son of a bitch. You know, like something like that, right? I think. Michael B. Smith, Big Timmy 87, Gary Priest, Middle Age Crazy Podcast, Tammy Lee, Ramsdell, Frank Montez, SRW 92831. Absolutely, that's mm-hmm. a droid. Yes. Pax and Breaks, Lauren Silence, Neho Young. Pax Coy- and Breaks? Pax with Z's. You're in. 
Yeah. Corey Bennett James, Jeffrey, a.k.a. J. Back 01, Gil Gastelum, the Thick White Duke, T. Garrett Pil- Pearson, Senor Peligro, Podescu Podcast, Inner Zone Podcast, C.J. Pendragon, definitely. C.J. Pendragon. George is 126, Satirilicious, Cordelia, Lucas Guerra, Cordelia. JD. Cordelia, she's in. Red 5 standing by, well, doy. Yeah, come on. Rob Fernie, Chris O'Shoke, Nathan Wallace, Shane Power, Michael Martinez, Shane Wendy May. Shane Power. Steve DeArcy, Gray Wraith, Sean Williams, Gray William Wraith. Harris. That's a good one. Brian yeah. McNabb, Brandon Feltner, Podmo, Brandon J. Here's one I think it might already be. Cam, Sem- Cam Sempris. That's already. Oh, Cam Sempris, yeah. Dave Van Walton, Chris McDermott, Mbello 66, Steve Wynn 3068, Chris Chug Hughes, Daniel Holland, Josh Kovac, Trent Unruh, J6K. Trent Unruh? Trent Unruh. J6K9, Graham Gray Arnold, Cathal McAlnery, Manny Avalar, Bradley John Eaglefeather, Joseph Tejas, Go Away 723, Amador Gonzalez, Steve and Nikki G23220, J Reading 1013, Fred Johnson, Todd C, aka DJ Retod, Lord Helmet, Lord Helmet's in. Alan Guyak, <laughs> Phil Sargent, Sean Williams, Mock Toy, Scarecrow 219, aka Adam K, Jimmy Salgado, All of His Pod, Assorted Goods Pod, Juvenicio Estrada, Oscar Nunez, Joe Mo for Show, Stacey Smith, Stacey Avilia, CJ, aka M Blade, Kyle Cook, aka The Grindfather, Kyle Cook, I could see, mm-hmm. Andy Hinsman, Graham Moore, Eric Knight, Justin Brown, Stacey Gonzalez, Jack Beams, Chris Fabo. Here's another one, Chris Rubalcaba. Chris Rubalcaba. That's Chris definitely Rubalcaba. Him. Chris Bell, Kevin Couch, Chario Lanchere, Charles Phillips, A.K. Chaz Hayes, the Game Fanatics, Burr Martin, Gary Cundell, Dar- Darren Butler, Shelby Consul, Plastic Prison, Kelly Riddle, K.T. Chris Barnsmeyer, A.K. Go Cast, Chris B. Glamis Jamie, Storm Raven, Yeman Yaman, Boss Hogs, Grim Shredder, Drunk Eddie's Thoughts, Eddie's Ghost Ham, Robin Maloney, Damian Batriel, Joe Milne, Ramar, Chad Saliu, Sean Ryan, Lisa Marie Miller, Joey Poole, Gemma from the Talking Codswallet Podcast. You and I are vets of that one. Yeah, we are. Andy Barr, James, uh, Dan Beavers, A.K. G Virus Dan, Nath Kendall, A.K. The Joker, Austin Long, Adrian. And Benya, aka Texas Pookie 71, Gamer Girl Deluxe, Sing White Slave, Big Timmy 87, John Broccolo, Steve Colsanti, aka Midnight Smoke, Patrick A. Bonfrisco, Jason Shear, Matt the Rat, Mad Monkey, Seb Robledo, E. Viegas, Justin Schroeder, Jeremy Bienvenu, Patrick Brothers, Tim Dawson, Brian Withers, Steve Rogers, Will Wilkins, John Mick II, Ian Goldspink. Ian Goldspink. Ian Goldspink. Rico GZ, Ira Zero 1980, Bearded Nerd, Mike Driscoll 3D, Big Daddy Jimmy V, Ulysses Atkins. That's up there. Sonic, aka Mercy. Dollum, the king of the the king of the uh, barbecue sauce. Uh, no, no, that's Stets. Dollum is the king of the Red Hulks. Oh, king of the He's Red Hulks. He's the king yeah, of the yeah, Red yeah. Hulks, right there. Stets, the king of the barbecue right. sauce. That's how it goes. Oh, uh, that's how it goes. Dollum is the king of the Red Hulks. Stets is the king of the barbecue <laughs> sauce. My legitimate cousin, Darren McGregor, the Devastator, the Hall of Famer, first ballot, Dave Strebeck. Dave Strebeck's a good. Strebeck. Definitely That's a the, good Star Wars name. The last name's name Strudek. We have to work on Dave. Dave, yeah, it's Joe Capone. Dave's in the Star Wars universe. Nico, he'll be the first. It Nico Brown, be. Steph Infection, Poltron, Nico. Aaron Bridget from Long Island, Cla- Nico. Adam Clambert, Nico, Nico, Nico Brown. One. That's a Nico Brown's a great Star yeah, Wars Nico name. Be a good Star Wars JM, J. Mitch, Bird, Stapia, Nickel the Wise, Gary Rickleman, Grady W. Smithy the Third, the Chris and Cassie Effect, Graham and Faye, Sam Martinez, David Ace Gutierrez, David Ace Gutierrez. That's a Star Wars name. David Eric E. Chavez, e. Chavez, Becky Sinderling, Bree Pena. And maybe Brie these Pena. Star- Brie, Brie Pena is up there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Brian Boo <laughs> Stamontes <laughs> Boo <laughs> Boo <laughs> Stamontes. <laughs> Thank you all for making the rambles part of your lives, your loves, your everything. Mm. Please subscribe mm. to us. Give us a five-star <clears throat> rating. Spread the word. Positive text reviews. <clears throat> Eddie and I have comedy albums you could purchase. You could you could stream us on Spotify, <clears throat> Pandora. If you hear us on Sirius XM, crank that shit. We're not exclusive picture, to Spotify. Send it. We're not exclusive. No. Listen where we you can buy us on iTunes. <laughs> and if you do buy our shit on iTunes, A, thank you. B, yes. give us a positive text review and a five-star rating. If you want any of my download cards, I have a very, very small amount left. Thank you to everyone who's bought them, but there's still a few. DM me. You name your price. I will sign them and send them to you. Slide in them DMs. And uh, Cody, where can all the fine folk find you? Are you still alive? Still alive. It is storming outside. Oh, Oh. shit. Uh, So you can find me at uh, Cinestop Cody on Twitter and then my other four podcasts, which is Mm. Overkill. Uh, you can find me at uh, the Cinestop Podcast, where we are reviewing weekly VOD reviews. Yep. Uh, you can find me on ReMCU, which is our Marvel rewatch podcast, currently up to uh, Iron Man 3 uh, with wow. Jerry. Uh, hey. our episode. Eddie, um, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm free this week. But which one would you do? Which movie? I can do Thor, Thor Dark World. Eddie, get, can, get can, Eddie for Thor Dark I can World, take Cody. That Come on, let's do this. I, I think we might actually be able to make that work, so can, we'll, we'll, we'll be in touch. Yeah, you hey. know me, and we'll figure out a time. I'm free this week. Cool. Uh, and then we've got um, 
Quarant Stream, which is our uh, podcast where we're talking to comedians about uh, how quarantine is affecting them and also uh, swapping uh, uh, movie recommendations for what to watch. Swapping girlfriends. Both of you have been on it. Yep. Uh, And this week is uh, part two with comedian Sean Donnelly. Look at that. And then finally, if you're a music fan, I have a new music interview podcast called Medium Fidelity. That's great. Uh, Currently up is Nick DeSalvo, guitarist and vocalist from the band Elder. That's kick-ass, man. Eddie? Where can all the fighting uh, folks find you? Five days a week, patreon.com, the Ralph Report. Um, hopefully by Monday, June 1st, we're back at five days a week on radio.com with Swings and Misses. Yeah. Until then, we're doing Tuesdays and Saturdays of Swing Break. So. Rocking and rolling, hoochie and cooing. Yeah, all the time. Right. Up and I down. I hope so. Left and right. Um, me, every Monday, I'm the smug nerd with this man right yes. here. my director, Eddie Pence. Um, you can also hear me every, watch me every Thursday on my YouTube channel where I do a retro Rocha segment where I talk about an old video game. It's every Thursday. Please subscribe. Please check that out. It would mean the world to me. Also, every night during quarantine, I'll be twitching. If I'm not going to twitch, I'll let you know beforehand, but it's usually every night on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash retro Rocha. Come check that out. Come check us all out. And damn it, it's time. Can I play the song? It's top 10 time, baby. Oh. I'm glad Cody's still with us. Is he? For now. Is it's he? the time of the show. We're well, the top now there's nothing. Cody's still yeah. there. I'm here. Okay, okay good. <sighs> I'm surpri- Honestly, I'm stunned the internet's still holding out for you. I am too. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. I mean, holy. If it goes sh- out, do we panic and assume he's dead? Yes. Okay. No question. I mean, not that, that what the else internet just went out. We no, just I'm just, fuck, he's gone. That the tornado and went we right over where he's this living. episode. We burn it. We burn it. Grady, or do we wait and see? We wait. Grady W. Smith, he says, number 10, top 10. This is tough. This is a tough one. Top 10 Fred Willard moment scenes. Number 10, he goes to Tom Waits' interview on Fernwood tonight. It's more Tom scene than Fred's, but it's too good to leave off the list. Number 9, the mayor of Roxanne when he was a mayor. How great was oh, that? Oh, he's so good in that. Saying he'd rather be with the people of his town than the finest people in the world. <laughs> number 8, the commander of the air base had hired Spinal Tap to play at their dance. Number 7, the announcer and best in show. Number 6, the history professor and undeclared reality. Acting the reenacting the Kennedy assassination. The station manager and anchor man on the phone with the nun that caught his kid looking at German pornography. So good. The president, Wally, he was so good that he got to be the only live action Pixar character. Reading a poem about being remembered after you die on Fernwood tonight, and when Martin Mull asks him who wrote it, he doesn't know or care. Fred seen in a mighty wind. Fred's last appearance on Modern Family is his number one. Heck of a list, Grady. Joe Capone. President of the United States on Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Said, considering how many things he's done, this was tough for sure. Number nine, Slick Willie, the, u- the scummy used car salesman in Mama's Family. Stan, the annoying timeshare salesman in Married to Children. My Dinner with Anthrax episode where he interrupts Alan Peggy about, uh, ab- about to get down by entering the room with the Ed Cookie Burns in tow to help sell his pitch. Michelle's dad in American Wedding. Lieutenant Bob Hoekstratton in Spinal Tap. Ed Harkin in Anchorman. Mike LaFontaine in The Mighty Wind. Rob Albertson waiting for Guffman. Buck Laughlin, Best in Show. Jerry Hubbard Fernwood tonight is number one. As I said before, a tough list, definitely a talent that will be missed. Speaking of talent, a future top ten suggestion based on the most recent Ramble Raider where you had Michael McDonald singing dialogue from Star Wars. Oh. Top ten film performances you'd want to hear Michael McDonald Ooh. reenacting song. Ooh. Me personally, I want to hear him sing Sean Connery's opening monologue to Highlander, as well as Jim Gordon's A Hero We All Deserve Ending monologue, and the Jokers Don't Talk to Me Like You're One of Them speech during the interrogation of the Dark Knight. Even though I'm no longer a collector of doll be- or action figures, I enjoyed the YouTube live stream reaction. Definitely do more of those. Jerry versus Eddie in the SNS Fighter Justice League. Uh, and the SNES Fighter Justice League Task Force, where you guys have a coin toss to determine who plays as Batman, would be an excellent stream. <laughs> as I asked on Twitch, would the player that had to use Batman tank it, or would their competitive nature take over and force them to pummel their opponent and lead Batman onto a dominant victory? Thanks, as always, for the fun content, guys. Take care, Ramblers. Go Giants. Be the bat and wash your hands. Ramble on. You know which one I would like to see? What? would be he brings a knife to a gunfight you bring a gun <laughs> you know, like that would be great <laughs> he sends women to the hospital you send one of his to the morgue that's the chicago <laughs> way right <laughs> the chicago <laughs> way that'd be great i mean that'd be good Sean i mean come on i, I don't know uh. I don't wait. <laughs> trying to think of a classic. You movie. lost to a bunch of fucking nerds, right? You got beat by a nerd. How great would that be? <laughs> the final speech, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> we we got bullshit. 
<laughs> we're we're going to push. <laughs> that would be fucking we're amazing. We're push. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> shark tries to look at dollars. Yeah, shark tries to look at, but we deliver the bomb. That would be amazing. Water. Oh, I could. this could go on forever. Joe, what a great idea. We might have to work on that one. Cody, you still alive? Yes, okay. there is crazy thunder outside. Oh, Ooh. Jesus. Fuck. You could tell I was a little fuck nervous in that one. Yeah. Uh, Zach Dahlm says, honorable mention, his performance in Salem's Lot. The only dramatic role I can ever remember him playing, and his role as Martin Mole's boyfriend on Roseanne. Gay characters are not something you saw often on late TV in the 80s. Never mind a gay couple. Number 10, the phone call with his kid is Anchorman. Put the gun down and let the marching band go. <laughs> Number 9, his scene in Spinal Tap. Number 8, that trainer looks familiar to me from Best in Show. Number 7, let's do Covered Wagons again from Waiting for Guffman. Number 6, the phone call with his kid's school in Anchorman. I have no clue where he would even acquired the German pornography sister. Number 5, the Chinese restaurant scene in Waiting for Guffman when he found out he had penis reduction surgery. His horrible impressions in Waiting for Guffman. I always have to tell her who I'm doing. <laughs> to, think some, to think in some countries some of these dogs are eaten and best in show him and Catherine o'hara's audition scene and waiting for guffman his first scene in the mighty win hey what happened that's it for me this week dollum out thank you again dollum for the red hulks yes. man and the list tremendous brian withers he goes haven't done much reading or g- gam- uh, gaming however i decided to pull up my old baseball cards not a big collection not worth much it was fun to flip through all the old players names the cards are from 77 to 84 I bet Cody would dig that. Oh, wow. Even found uh, my favorite player's card, Chet Lemon. When there's no baseball, maybe baseball cards will tide me over. Baseball cards, a new podcast. Dived headfirst in the naked Cody world. Re-MCU, I'm all cut up. Just great, damn it. Now I'm working on Corn Stream. Just as great, damn it. How about that, Cody? Look at that. As you're being swept away, you will know. (laughs) That you made people happy. Yes, with your podcast. Brian Withers, top 10 Fred Willard uh, scenes. Number 10, Spinal Tap. Number 9, Spinal Tap. Number 8, Spinal Tap. Number 7, Spinal Tap. Number 6, Spinal Tap. Number 5, Spinal Tap. Number 4, Spinal Tap. Number 3, Spinal Tap. Number 2, Spinal Tap. Number 1, Spinal Tap. You guys are great. Ramblers are great. Stay sane. Wash your hands. Wear a mask. The late, great Golden Rambler, Brian Withers, rest in peace. Fucking A, hell of a list. Gary. Uh, Fred Willard moments in no order best in show and to think that in some countries these dogs are eaten followed <laughs> by the perfect sideways look from the co-commentator the clueless impressions of waiting for Guffman best in show the endless array of weird suggestions to his co-host one of my favorites being are they ever allowed to dress the dogs up in a funny way like a little <laughs> Sherlock Holmes hat <laughs> for your consideration the cast interview who's your favorite Brady Bunch member a mighty win hey what happened Spinal Tap the best non-compliment ever I love your records I'm not speaking of yours personally but the whole genre of rock and roll <laughs> waiting for guffman the chinese restaurant from killing a monkey right in front of you to vagina enlargements one of the most awkward scenes ever his entire role is frank dunby his all arc and dynamic with phil is so wonderfully done one of the most believable father-son relationships on screen anyway thanks to you all yes even cody but disguise because despite his grape intolerance i love the three-way dynamic gary thank you gary we got to get Cody on the grape flavored shit, man. It'll happen. Cody, would you eat a grape popsicle right now if this storm dies right now? Yeah, I, I look. I mean, I don't find it repulsive. It's just <laughs> it the makes worst all of tornadoes the go away forever. All tornadoes go away forever. You eat grape, but that's it. You can only have grape flavored drinks for the rest of your life. That's it. No, nah, I'll take my chances. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. So Graham and Faye said, sorry, Ramblers. I got me a healthcare size brain ache this week. I've just run out of gas in the tank. That's okay. No, also, no, there's just here, so here, many Fred Willard skits, characters, quotes, appearances to choose from. Whittling down to just 10. I'll throw one of the mix, which oddly, one of my modern, memorable performance from him, CEO of By and Large and Wally. He is the perfect effortless layer of sarcasm, playing the bumbling leader of the last remnants of humanity on a dying world. As I recall, the only actual non-rendered human to appear in a Pixar film. I think you're right. Rest in peace you magnificent bastard the great white north will have to tap out on this one stay safe ramblers graham and fay winnipeg a stay safe graham and fay thank you for all the work you guys do yes uh joe santos says spinal tap american wedding harold flaherty harold and uh fucking kumar dr willoughby little chicken melvin uh the dad from monster house for your consideration chuck anchorman 2 ed harkin anchorman ed harkin 50 sheds of gray uh black gary number one wall e shelby forthright from big daddy joe santos thank you very much everyone who contributed we appreciate it did anyone get your trifecta no cody did anyone get your trifecta gotta be honest wasn't really listening but all right i figured well you have something going on you have something going on cody let's get your top five (laughs) out of the way now you just rattle them off in case you die before (laughs) it's over you give us your top five fred willard see oh by the way real quick ramble uh 235 cody 
Top 10 80s sitcoms. Come on. There you go. Come We're on. doing this for you. So, again, just as a reminder, I was born in 1989. Yes, So was. that is going to be an adventure it's for me. It's all for you. This it's is gonna, all It's for your you. chance to go 227, 1 through 10 for your That's Marla true. Gibbs retrospective. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> See? Uh, so for me, uh, number five, because I, I only had time to do five, number five is his appearance on the sketch show on Netflix, uh, Netflix I Think You Should Leave. Ah, um, Okay. I don't have either of you seen that. No, I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. So he plays basically the uh, like a funeral organist, but he's got like one of those old timey pianos that has like all the sound effects on them, <laughs> and so <laughs> it's just a, so such a stupid sketch, but it's really funny. Um, <laughs> number four is a scene that I that I forgot came out until I came across it when I was like the day that he he died. I was right. watching old clips. It is him in a movie called I think it's a movie called Mascots. Yes. Um, yeah, it's him and Brad Williams, and 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 Fred is doing the heavy lifting in the in the, oh, it's, in it's, the scene, and it's fucking great. He carries that, and it's he's so good at that. It's so goddamn funny, and it's and it's the perfect like Fred Willard like asking like he does. I think I might have mentioned it on the show, but he does like like oblivious, charming, dumb better yeah. than anyone else. <laughs> he is that is his calling card. Is oh so great, so great. Yeah. Uh, number three for me is Anchorman, um, and I don't know if there's one particular scene, but basically every time he's on screen, he's doing something ridiculous Tremendous. or saying something ridiculous. Yes. Uh, number two for me is A Mighty Wind. Oh, um, what happened? Yeah, ab- absolutely amazing. Uh, and then number one <laughs> for me, obviously, is uh, Best in Show. Oh, uh, I don't fuck. think that could ever be topped. Buck Laughlin, the fucking best. Oh, man. Tremendous. All right, so I'll go my 10, then you, yep. uh, Eddie, Cody. Try to try to make it for the rest of this episode. Everyone, again, Hang Ramble 235, top 10 80 sitcoms. <laughs> uh, what hat would 80 sitcoms, what, what 80 sitcom theme would go into their hat in the Hall of Fame? And what, if there was a concert of 80 sitcom theme songs, what would the open, close, and encore be? Email us, ramble at ramblepod.com. My number 10, anything he did in Fernwood Flash America tonight. Yeah. So great. Like I, Before I start, my, I just have to say, like I'm literally just picking random things because Cause there's no I yeah don't have them ranked one this list than the could other. change yeah I absolutely literally i went down his filmography and televisionography and i was just literally yep picking anything out uh while his appearance in wally is the first human in a pixar i mean so great so great um my number nine is uh the <laughs> where he's in roxanne talking about giving beer to the cow <laughs> And Steve Martin, uh, great idea, wonderful idea. What a, yeah, that, I love that one. Uh, my number nine is everything in Fernwood. Oh, so dude, goddamn, that is. I just love how he would chime in because Martin Mole was already kind of inappropriate enough, yeah. and then he would take it to a dumber, more inappropriate level oh, God, every must time. Have been so much fun to. Oh fuck. Uh, my number eight uh, was that scene in Mascots where he's just obliviously yeah. talking to the little person. It's just <laughs> so dumb. Oh, uh, it was great. My number eight uh, is uh, wait for, Waiting for Guffman. Mm. My number uh, seven is Waiting for Guffman when he's do when they're doing the audition for Corky and like he's acting like a vet. Oh, you want me to strike that? Okay, I'll strike that. Yeah, that's what that's what we say. That's what Corky has to say. If we want oh, us to get rid fuck. of something, strike it. Like he was just acting like a big shot. So fucking good. So, <laughs> so fucking right. good. You're number seven. Oh, seven. Uh, his mayor Deebs and Roxanne. Oh, the best. My number six, uh, best in show, when he was talking about when Corky left, and he was like, you know, when I was in full, I would cry, my lip would tremble, and then, and then when he talked about losing Fuck. the playoff game. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> they went on to win the state championship. <laughs> 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 Fucking great. <laughs> You're number uh, six. Number six, uh, Ed Harkin and Angerman. Oh, that was tremendous, man. My uh, my number five is in Best in Show when he's talking uh, to the doctor who is putting together the, the dog show. And he goes, you know, I think I got some bursitis. Uh, I'm not that. Ah, I'm just having fun with you. <laughs> the guy just doesn't want to be there already. Uh, that was so great. Good. Uh, Mighty Wind. My oh, what happened? Montana. What happened? My number four is Spinal Tap when he's talking about you ever see this band four jacks and a jill oh if you ever get a chance to see him my number four is spinal tap too 
Yes. And you know, he's also just as good in the return of Spinal Tap. So, it doesn't. It's so Ugh. My number three? Is that right? Because you do number four, yeah. too. We had to say, yeah, my yeah, number yeah, three yeah. is the penis reduction in Best in Show. <laughs> my number three is uh, Spinal Tap, Lieutenant Bob Hooker. <laughs> Ho- Hook Stratton. My number two uh, from A Mighty Win. What happened? What happened? What happened? That's my little I had it here for one sec. Uh, my number is one, two, right? Two. Two, his, uh, his whole run in Modern Family. Oh, so fuck. And then my number one, what else could it be? Best in show yeah. when it's a small dogs, and he says, you know, in some countries, some of these dogs are eating. Who oh. <laughs> would fuck? fuck. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like the one where the, the, the woman is like feeling dogs like. Yeah, <laughs> you better take me out to. to <laughs> and then that, the British guy's like, oh, you said that one last year. Look at this. Great. <laughs> that is so fucking good. Oh, shit. Well, we made it. Cody lived long enough to where if he if it dies now, we don't feel guilty putting this you know, episode you know, if, out. No, I, I feel we completed it. it yeah. Feels, it feels <laughs> he done. Did it. it doesn't feel unfinished. No. Thank you for all so. who tuned in. Remember, uh, subscribe. Give it a five-star rating. Positive text And review. remember Cody. And remember Cody. <laughs> Ramble at the RambleBot.com. <laughs> Ramble 235. 80 sitcom themes. What hat goes on the Hall of Fame? What did the 80 sitcoms concert open, close, and encore with? And the top 10 sitcoms of the 80s. Ramble at right. the RambleBot.com. All that could change if Cody passes. Yes. Tonight. Then it's the... Then we'll it's finally... We'll do Marla Gibbs. Top 10 Cody's podcast. We'll just do Marla oh, Gibbs. Well, do Marla we'll do Marla Gibbs that's for true. Cody. It's what he wanted. What he wanted. That's what he would have wanted. Oh, man. We thank you all for letting us be ourselves we appreciate it be safe out there everybody be safe uh and that's it there's a the music last beep and we love you there we go cody please talk to us what's happening right now uh th- i can hear super loud thunder uh, and i looked outside and it was storming pretty bad but we're pat i mean it's 9 901 right right now so wouldn't it be yeah. hilarious if you've had to be quarantined this whole time because of covid and then you end up dying in a tornado. Because you were at home. Because you were at home. <laughs> when you could have been yeah. living your life however the last yeah. month. It's rough. Knowing yeah. you were going to die in this tornado anyway. Wouldn't it not be great? <laughs> but on some level, like, cosmically, isn't it funny? Probably. Cosmic, like, if you looked back on it, whatever yes. afterlife there is, you kind of Like, Cody, do you think I could call Zach and we'd have a laugh about it <laughs> after a few years, your brother? You think that would? <laughs> yeah, that does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss you, Cody. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs>